Welcome back to my channel. Things that I'm afraid of. What scares me? Snakes? Nope. Do you know that in my life, I've wrangled three snakes. That's what they call it, snake wrangler. Mm -hmm. One, the first one, was in my swimming pool. It was slithering around swimming. Ooh, so scary. So I had to get the net, kind of maneuver it through the water, lift it up, and then run. Yeah, believe it, I was running. Run and flip it over my fence. I had to choreograph this. I had to figure out the footwork before I did it because I only had one shot. If that snake slithered out of that net, I was a goner, or so I thought. So I counted out my steps. How many steps is it to the fence? How fast do I have to go? I'm timing myself. I'm like five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And I did it. I got that snake and away I went and whoosh, it was gone. The next snake I'm almost afraid to tell you about. So it's kind of like a secret. I found a snake slithering across the studio floor in Studio A in Pittsburgh. It's a black Marley floor. And I was in there rehearsing, doing my own choreography, you know, figuring out something for class. And I saw something in the mirror and it like slithered and I was like, what is this? Oh, nothing, right? And then I saw it move again and I freaked out. I looked at that clock, it was 4.15, my class started at 4.30, the kids were coming in and I had to get rid of the snake. I grabbed a broom and I went back into the studio, I opened the door to the backyard and that's the problem is we had this door that goes out of Studio A into the grass, you know, inside and that's how it got in. Well, I maneuvered that snake and I, and I didn't want to hurt it. I'm an animal lover, so I didn't want anything to happen to the snake, but I didn't want it in the studio. Could you imagine the rumors? Oh my goodness, that would have been awful. Is there an aura around me? You know how people can read your aura? What's mine telling you? Hmm? Third snake, back in Florida, back in the swimming pool, but now I'm a pro, right? Wrong, I don't rehearse enough. I don't choreograph the steps out. The snake, whoosh, grangetes, out of the net, whoosh, and it's around my feet. That freaked me out a little bit. Otherwise, I'm not really afraid of snakes, no. Enough with my scaly friend. What am I afraid of? Well, what do you all think I'm afraid of? Hmm? It might surprise you. So, I am afraid of choking like choking to death and nobody being around. That's like a fear, a little bit, but not at the top of the pyramid, no. I'm afraid of bad doctors. What do they call the doctor who graduates last in his class at medical school? Any guesses? Doctor. They call him doctor. There's good ones and there's bad ones, just like dance teachers. There's really good ones and really bad ones. And there's bad equipment, there's bad studio floors, all kinds of stuff. Mistakes happen, I get that. But you know if you're good at your job or not. And if you're not, find another job. What else am I afraid of? Bankruptcy. Worst thing I ever did, declaring bankruptcy. If anybody out there watching ever finds themselves in that place, that moment of desperation where you just think that you're done, you're finished, you're over. Do not declare bankruptcy. Don't do it. Don't be embarrassed, don't be humiliated. Ask a friend, phone a friend, get some advice. Make sure that you go to the ends of the earth to find out what you can do before you do that. Believe me, if I could go back in time, that's probably the one thing I would change. Musophobia, I'm afraid of rats. I don't mean some of the dance mom rats. I mean real rats. Not little mice in a cage or hamsters. No, real big New York City rats. I've been wheeling home some nights and it's easier for me to cut through the alley than it is to go on a sidewalk or maybe a sidewalk that's beat up or maybe the sidewalk's closed because it's, you know, being repaired. 
I have seen big giant rats with these awful teeth coming out of garbage bags, garbage cans, those big dumpsters. Freaks me out. I don't like rats. Cancer. That's something I'm definitely afraid of. The unknown is scary, right? I watched my dad go through it. I watched my mom go through it. I went through it. There's, if there's one thing to be afraid of, it's cancer. But it's still scary. I know people beat it every single day. One of my dear friends just beat it. Horror movies. There are so many horror movies out this time of year, I can't take it. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, Rosemary's Baby, yes, I can handle. And the one with the girl's head that spins around, The Exorcist, I can handle that. There's a story, there's a plot, there's characters, but the horror movies, I cannot take it. I can't even take suspenseful movies. The kind of movies where you are like, <gasps> behind the door and, <gasps> oh my God, there he is, and he's like lurking in the dark or she's lurking in the dark. You open a door and there's somebody there. <gasps> it, I don't like that. I don't like the tension in my shoulders and my back. I don't like that whole <gasps> on the edge of my seat thing. When I'm watching a dance routine, yes, I want you to keep me on the edge of my seat. But in the movie theater, no way. I want to relax. I want to laugh. I want to fall in love. I want to break up. I want all those things to happen, all those emotions, but not my shoulders in my ears because I'm freaking out because we're gonna see some monster. No way. Speaking of monsters behind a door, what about men? Am I afraid of men? No, not like that, I'm not afraid of men. I'm just afraid they're going to be cheap. Any man that takes you out to dinner and then expects you to pay or wants to go Dutch, mm -mm. I have to drive because of the handicapped vehicle. So I'm already the driver. I'm already paying for the gas. I'm probably picking the restaurant and now you want me to pay too? No, losing my mind. Yes, I'm afraid of losing my mind, my memory. Alzheimer's, that would be awful. But would you know it was awful? Hmm. Something to think about. I have a fear of heights. Am I afraid of acrobatics? No. Am I afraid of acrobats? No. Acrophobia is a fear of heights, and I am deathly afraid of heights. Not inside an airplane, but outside. Do not take me to the 54th floor and expect me to go outside to a patio or outside to a restaurant. Not gonna happen, no way. Things that are open air. Tower of Terror at Disney, not a problem. You only stick your head out at one little section, and I have my eyes closed anyway, so I don't know when that is. But those roller coaster kind of rides that are open air and you just drop straight down, no way. Even before the spinal cord injury, no way. And uh, in Vegas, you can fly off the side of a building. Uh, no, hello. I always wanted to go indoor skydiving. That doesn't scare me. It's a controlled environment, you're inside. It seems pretty cool, right? But now with the spinal cord injury, I can't do that. The last and probably the most vicious of all of the things that I'm afraid of are dance moms. You're trying to make their children better. You are trying to teach their children an art form, a craft. You're trying to make their kids successful and they just come at you from every angle. It's like, ee, 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 ee. <laughs> knife, 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 knife. When will it ever end? Thank you for watching. Now you know everything that scares me. Write in the comments below what you are afraid of. Subscribe, like, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you back here for some tricks or some treats.